Welcome back, True Seeker. More solid evidence of how the world of professional sports is scripted by the numbers. In the night, the Dodgers beat Justin Verlander in Los Angeles, which was Halloween. The Lakers beat Detroit, and Verlander was traded from Detroit after 13 seasons there to the Astros on September 1st, the same day the Latuna fires began. Notice the Lakers won with 113 points. It's the 113th World Series. This is a big number to the history of the Lakers. Kobe Bryant equals 113. Deer Basketball equals 113. That was his retirement poem. Plus a number of other things. Talked about this number a lot in the history of Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, and others. Detroit went down with 93 points last night. The reason that's funny is because Verlander had exactly 93 pitches last night. And this is what I continue to explain. All of sports is scripted from the final score to the box score. And they're using technology to ensure everything is perfect. Just the uh, even the stat they got highlighted up here for Lonzo Ball, 6 of 13. 13 is the sixth prime number. The Dodgers won 1 to 3, a lot like 13 in game 6. L is the 12th letter. A is the first. LA is 13. You know, there's a 13 in 113. So for anyone to continue to look at these things that I've been exposing for years now and call it coincidence, I mean, you just got to be a brain dead moron. As I've always said, the purpose of my work is to enlighten sports fans to the fact that this is all a rigged, scripted show. And by knowing how it's scripted, you can oftentimes predict the outcome before it happens. I made a video before the game was played why I expected the score to be 1-3. to three. And yes, I did think it would be in favor of Verlander. So I am surprised there. It was perfect alignment with, for Verlander last night. Still shocked that he didn't get it. But it's not hard to see what's going on with the scripting. You know, Verlander comes over from Detroit. They made a big deal about how he could have been playing in Los Angeles. Just in case you forgot, Justin Verlander equals 213 like the LA area code. And then this happens in the NBA. And this is what I'm always showing, how sports, how the sports leagues pay tribute to each other, how they're all interconnected. The night that uh, the Astros won 7-6 to six over the Dodgers on the day leaving 67 days left in the year where I said the Astros would definitely win that day, the Houston basketball team, the Rockets, were playing the 76ers. You see? It's all scripted. And I haven't even looked at who's playing today, but we really should. We'll, we'll do that before the end of the video. Also, the night before, the other L.A. team lost with 113 points. And the Warriors won with a tremendous amount, 141. When you write out 33, or excuse me, when yeah, that's right. When you write out 33 as a word, it sums to 141. Game 6 also equals 33. Lo and behold, the series is 3-3. Three to three on October 31st. And from the day that the Warriors won the championship to October 31st was 141 days. This game was played the night before. This is all scripting. This is all foreshadowing. Doc Rivers, by the way, equals 113. So, speaking of basketball and baseball, Magic Johnson, the longtime Laker, now part of the management for the Dodgers. He guaranteed the Dodgers would win the World Series this year, and I covered this earlier this year. When he made the guarantee, it was July 28th, which was 88 days before the start of the World Series, or a span of 89 days. Los Angeles Dodgers equals 89. Back-to-back -back days, two black men entertainers, an actor and then a musician, found dead. Game one of the World Series, game two of the World Series. As for 88, California equals 88. The last time the Dodgers were in the World Series was 88. The World Series began on the 88-year anniversary of the beginning of the collapse of Wall Street. Dollar has gematria of 88. The scripted narratives. It's a lot bigger than sports. The sports are the distraction for the manpower so that they don't recognize the tyranny they live under. That's the reason we have these orchestrated sports leagues from the tyrants, you know, who rule over us. Taxation without representation. False flag terrorism. We live in a sick world. Most people are tuning it out and tuning into the ball games. That's why they do it. That's why in 1984, the quote is, all it took to rule over the people were films, sports, gambling, and beer. You know? 
United States of America equals 84. A few more notes about this. Um, game 7. I'll show you in a second here. I'll, I'll link this post if you want to read all this. But um, let me show you. Right down here. Magic Johnson. This is our year. You see how they emphasize that? This is our year. Has Gematria of 187. Big number in California. The pitcher last night who pitched in game 6. Rich Hill. He had 187 named Gematria. This is our year equals 70. And I'm going to show you what's interesting about this number 70. Couldn't have known this piece when this first happened, but now I see it. In numerology terms, 70 is 7. And here's what I want to show you. From the day he made the guarantee to game 7 today is 97 days, which is the 25th prime number. Remember, last year was the 97th season of the NFL. They made the touchback 25 yards. The Super Bowl was on 2-5, kind of like 25. Falcons equals 25, and the Patriots had a 25-point comeback over them. You know, completely scripted, completely obvious. Falcons gave up the game intentionally because it's all theater. These are not real competition. Real competition, the Falcons would have ran the ball, kicked a field goal, gone up 11, game over. Two minutes left. No way to come back. But not in the scripted world of sports. So anyway, 97 is the 25th prime. Here's what's up with that. If you write out 7, or at game 7, it equals 25. It also equals 70. If you write out fire, it equals 25. Remember, L.A. burned, Houston flooded. If you write out flood, it also equals 25. And notice fire, also 29. It's been 29 years since the Dodgers were in the World Series. Astros also equals 29. So does Manhattan. Yesterday, a false flag in Manhattan. Witness wearing an Astros hat. That was in New York, where the Dodgers used to be from. New York won 11. Dodgers advanced to the World Series with an 11-1 to to win. Put up a video on that. You can go back and check it out. I said that was an interesting thing. Also, about those 93 points, Latuna equals 93. Verlander became an Astro the same day the Latuna fires began. And then he got 93 pitches. And it was his 61st day of being an Astro. Time equals 61, you see. Saturn equals 93, and Saturn is the keeper of time to the occult. 93 pitches, his 61st day. Detroit, where he's from, loses with 93 points in the NBA. Point this out, too. Magic Johnson, he just got some flack in the media. He was at a Dodger game, and then he left in the game to go watch the Lakers play. And that night, the Lakers scored 102 points. And here's the thing about that. Magic equals 102. So does slavery. The Civil War began on the 102nd day of the year, April 12, 1861. And so does the most hateful word for black people. And remember, this World Series began on the 45-year anniversary of the death of Jackie Robinson. Jackie equals 42, like the number he wore. Black History Month, February 42. The slang term brothers, 42. Check out the sitcom Martin. He lives in apartment 42. You know, Martin Luther King Jr., Malcolm X, 42. Check out the Rodney King beating. He was born April 2nd, 4 slash 2. And then also, that word again. You know, it has Gematria 42 as well as 102. In the O.J. Simpson trial, also centered in California, Mark Furman, there was testimony that he said the word nigger 42 times in a single conversation on the phone. Think about it, you guys. Who would ever be counting, you know? It's because everything we get from the O.J. Simpson trial to these sports games to what's in your nightly news, it's all scripted by the same code. Because the same gang of long noses run the entire show. I'll link these posts. You can read. There's a few more details. But, I mean, that's the extent of it right there. Rich Hill, 58 pitches on the date with 58 numerology. With number 58 as the umpire behind the mound. <laughs> Again, when you... Write out the word 13, it sums to 117. 13 times 9 is 117. 117 total pitches. Couldn't be any more obvious how scripted it all is. And did you guys see Carlos Beltran's last at bat? 
I mean, you could just tell. I mean, his face expression said it all. He didn't want to be the old man getting sent out to strike out for the last at bat on a high junk pitch, you know, while Joe Buck set it up the whole way. Oh, his high heat so hard to lay off. Yeah, maybe for a Little League baseball player. It's just... <laughs> it's just too obvious, you guys. I mean, it's too obvious how these games are scripted. And with regards to it being Game 7... You know, before the series began, I, I explained why I liked it to go to Game 7. Because of this right here. Fire equals 43. Element 34. Harvey 34. You know, somebody's going to win 4-3. to three, Somebody's going to win 3-4. to four. If the Dodgers lose, it'll be their 13th ever World Series loss. If they win, they'll be stuck at 12 losses. And the reason that's interesting is because 37 is the 12th prime. And 2017 is 20 plus 17 equals 37. Let me see if I can pull something up real quick. Just to, to give you guys the point of how scripted sports have always been, I mean, look at what they did in this uh, World Series in 88. Game one with Kirk Gibson's home run, the injured Kirk Gibson. <laughs> look at this. So the date this happened was October 15th, 88. Date with 113 numerology. Turner, for the Dodgers, hit a home run on this same day, right? This year, Turner, 29 years to the day, hit a game-winning home run just like Gibson. All part of the script. 113 is the 30th prime number. Gibson equals 30. And part of the reason I thought the Dodgers would get closed out last night, potentially shut out, is because they came into the postseason with 30 runs scored. 113th World Series. They were stuck at 113 wins. They had a pitcher on March 11th. It was just all so perfect. But we know that didn't happen. So anyway, 113's the 30th prime. Gibson had the game-winning hit on this day. <laughs> Who knows if he was even really hurt? Could have just all been acting performance. Again, these are athletic actors. This is all rigged theater. It's not hard to hit a home run if you're a professional baseball player. It's not hard to hit a home run even if you're an amateur baseball player. All you guys who don't know how to swing a baseball bat and just watch games, to you it's amazing. But for somebody who knows how to play the game, such as myself, it's not amazing at all. You know? Not hard to hit a home run, you guys. Some, some of you just have no idea. But I, I was just looking at this. You know, they had number 37 on. Los Angeles equals 37. 37 is the 12th prime, 2017. Gibson's up. The score was 4-3. to 4-3. to three. You know? He was facing Dennis Eckersley, number 43. The name Dennis, 34. The whole thing was how he was injured. And look at the Gematria of injured. 45 and 108, just like Major League. Just like how I guaranteed last year the Cubs would end the 108-year curse. That was an easy one to see. They put this stat up right before the home run. 3-2-2. Three, 3-2-2. Two, two. Three, two, two. Big number of masonry. Masonry created American baseball. Masonry runs the show. And then right after the 3-2-2, two, two, he hits it out of the park, you know? Somebody's probably watching, well, that's just this count. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Yeah, but... They didn't. If you go back and watch this entire sequence, they didn't put up the at bat account until right before the home run. They put it up right before. They didn't put it up at all during the entire thing until he hit it. You know, the most exciting count in baseball: three, two, two. So, some things never change, truth seeker. And professional sports will always be rigged as long as the long toes. Long-nosed tyrants run this world, and, and that's not going to change until the men get their fat asses up off the couch and stop watching these rigged ball games and do something about it, which is what I've been trying to do since 2013. And that's why I got so many haters down in the comments for every video. You know, they just have to wait weeks and weeks at a time until they can come crawling out of the dirt and try to, you know, spread some nonsense. A lot of tyrants paying for little minions, try to slander the truth can't slander this it's too obvious been showing it for years how it's all scripted together and hold up here before i go let's uh check out the let's check out who's playing tonight maybe we should even look in the nhl la still has the kings last time i checked every night you listen to these games they're talking about how they're scripted the script the script Let's see here. Who's playing November 1st? Let's look for the LA games and the Houston games. Uh, 
The Rockets are playing New York. Okay, Houston, New York. We just talked about this, New York 111. So let's watch what happens in this game tonight. The Dodgers used to be from New York. They used to be the Brooklyn Dodgers. Where's our Clippers and Lakers at? Are they playing? Clippers are playing. Clippers are playing in Dallas. Speaking of which, Dallas just lost uh, the brother. Uh, what's his name? Devin Harris. His brother was just killed at age 38 in the middle of the night. Okay, so Dallas isn't, you know, Texas. We got an L.A. team playing Texas. We got the Rockets playing the Knicks. And I didn't see the Lakers, so they must not be going tonight. Double check. Yeah, I don't see that. You guys, I mean, this is what's important about my work right here. Let me pull this up here. Bruce Harris, brother of NBA player Devin Harris, killed October 19th, 2017. And let me show you everything that's messed up about this. It was a date with 46 numerology. Sacrifice equals 46. So does murder and kill. Genesis 46 begins with a sacrifice. This entire code comes from the Bible, especially the first five books known as the Torah. It was the day leaving 73 days left in the year. The name Harris equals 73. Sacrifice also equals 73. His brother plays for Dallas. Bruce equals 49, just like Dallas. Bruce, 22, Crash, 22, Basketball, 22. Bruce Harris, also 59. Uh, just, I mean, you can see what numbers are up on the screen. But he was 38 years old, and this is the number we find most around death. Death, murder, killing, all 38. He was on US 75. Died 33 weeks and three days from his brother's birthday. You know, this was to start the NBA season. And some people have said, well, maybe there's a parallel with this death to the World Series. And I've told people, well, I'm not sure about that, but it's definitely for the NBA season. So interesting, though, that um, as we just saw, Dallas and the Clippers are playing tonight. We'll, see, we'll, we'll keep an eye on these games and see what happens. You know, highly doubt it's a coincidence that Houston's playing in New York in light of the Dodgers history and what we just saw yesterday with the false flag there. Just in case you missed that, let me show you. Wait, that's not the right one. Let's see here. <laughs> Did you guys see this? That um, they made a GoFundMe for this wreck 29 days before it happened, showing you just how orchestrated and planned it all is. Manhattan equals 29, 29-year-old 29 attacker. <laughs> His name was SS. You know, they just can't get away from their SS. His name has the same gematria as New York City. But hold on, that's not what I wanted to show you. Where is it at? Oh, here's what I want. The witness for this story wearing an Astros hat, Manhattan and Astros overlap in gematria. Astros in Manhattan are also 29 the small way. Dodgers haven't won the World Series in 29 years. This is where it gets tricky. It is, are the Astros the perfect team to lose to the Dodgers 29 years later? Or are the Dodgers the perfect team for the Astros to get their first World Series win over? You see? And what I'm back and forth on is if they can change the outcomes of these games. I've been thinking that when they script these games, they can't come off it. But the way everything lined up for Verlander yesterday, 112 days from his birthday, Houston equals 112. It would have been their 112th win. It's just, you know, I, I still cannot believe that that did not happen. When, when alignments are like that, they normally go through. I mean, I can't think of too many incidents where when it was that well lined up, it didn't pan out. So, perhaps they can change the script. We'll just have to continue to watch and see, Truth Seeker. But what we do know is it is all scripted. And if you watch these games, they use that word all the time. Monumental mocking. Until next time, Truth Seeker.